Hello, it's Scott Miley here. Today I'm looking at From the Depths, an ominously named game that is an early development from Brilliant Skies. It is another vehicle designer. Much like Robocraft, Terratech, Space Engineers, Autocraft, I don't know, there's a lot of these things floating around now and they're they're definitely all hitting their niches and I think this one's niche appears to be ocean-going vessels. Uh, but as you can see, from this wonderful attract mode, you can have aircraft and everything as well. It has AI uh, components that you can play with too. And uh, you can build uh, submarines, you can build ships, you can build sailboats. And uh, yeah, pretty much just have giant fights over the ocean. Look at this, this is great. The attract mode definitely is... Uh, it highlights what can be done with this thing. But as I'm sure you know, I probably generally don't have the time or patience to actually build these things myself, so I'm thankful that the developers will have uh, given me a bunch of test things to work with. Oh look, there's a, an X-Wing-like thing, there's some debris just kind of floating around in the ocean. Yes, yeah, so you can see how this is going to work. Let's uh, come out of the attract mode and actually do some... Oh, look at that! Slow-mo explosion there. Yeah, you get that whenever something big explodes, it goes into slow-mo, so you can appreciate your handiwork. So yeah, there is a bunch of tutorials once you're, you're early on. I want to show you the engine building first, because this actually explains an interesting part of their build uh, concept. So yeah, we're it's, it's going to have this giant window on the side, but what we're doing is we're building an internal combustion engine, right? So this will uh, be used to power the vehicle. Of course, you can see that we have a lot of different blocks to choose from, and we can assemble some of these things together to build different features. So the engine block connects to crankshafts, right? The crankshafts uh, are basically what takes your power. So yeah, put a bunch of those in. Now we're going to build ourselves a... We're going to hook cylinders onto the crankshaft. We need to place at least four of these. Two... Uh, Actually, yeah, we'll just do that. It says four, so let's place four like that. There we go. So these cylinders will provide a, you know, displacement will provide power to the crankshaft, but they need a fuel mixture, which is provided by carburetors. Yes, carburetors are what were used to be used before we had fuel injection. You uh, may not remember a car which you <laughs> doesn't have fuel injection, but it's kind of rare these days to have carburetors. So the carburetors, uh, let's see, I think they need fuel tanks. Oh, oh wait, no, I need to put on superchargers. Superchargers, they increase your uh, compression ratio of your fuel mixture by uh, taking power from the crankshaft and applying it to uh, pressurize the fuel and everything. Let's just do that. They differ from turbochargers, which you might have heard of, because turbochargers use the exhaust of an engine. To drive it instead. So turbochargers lag, but they, uh, they're more efficient than superchargers. But, oh wait, no, that needs to go on there. P put that in the wrong place. There we go. I'll delete that. There we have four of these things. I wonder if that will actually work. And now I need my fuel tanks to make sure that everyone gets powered nicely. There we go. Fuel tank. Little, these are like mini fuel tanks that are attached to the engine. Great! Okay, so that's how that works, and we'll show you one other tutorial before we go into the kind of main game, right? So, what we can do is tutorials, and... Okay, I guess it's interesting to take a look at the helicopter and submarine, since those are perfectly uh, you know, functional. But you also have AI building, so you can build AIs one block at a time, onto your vessels, and this, I somehow managed to miss this vessel, so let's jump out. Okay, uh, great. So I gotta tell this thing that it is called main, because it's my main frame. I gotta tell this thing to adjust its fire rate for some reason, to show that I can tweak things. Now, the problem is this computer network is failing, so builds and in the AI section, we have AI connectors, which are like network connectors. See that thing with the lasers coming out of it in the distance? That is a bad guy. Okay, so that's thing. See that shooting at, me, at it? Now I need a wireless transmitter, I believe, which needs to hook into my computer network. 
there, that should help. Oh, I hope that's in a good place. Now, to allow you uh, change your weapon slot to... Uh, oh yes, okay, so it's telling me that if I want to control it, I need to select a weapon system. I've already done that! Oh dear, I'm a little behind things. I've been skipping through <laughs> the tutorial. Move the build marker to the marked position. I can't. I've already built something there. Yes, this is a great idea. Completely ruining the tutorial. Right, never mind. Let's just... Let's see, I can fire it myself by pointing and using the middle button. Or I can let the AI do it. So you see, you get these, like, ballistic estimates of where things are going to be. It's kind of hard, actually. Now, it doesn't have the ramming mechanic of Space Engineers, obviously. Well, I'm not saying obviously. It doesn't, right? The ramming mechanic in Space Engineers is one of its highlights. It does have proper resource gathering, so you can extract resources and convert it into fuel and other things. I need to lead this thing, but I'm not doing a particularly good job. Come on. It's, it's like... Coming close so I can hit, hit it. When I've got, got it on target, it's too close. It seems that it's just a little too... Um, I should just take control of this myself. wonder if I can do that. Come on! I'm being absolutely hopeless at this! Okay, forget this. Let's uh, go and build something else which actually has weapon systems that can hit the target. Okay, so if you're wanting to play the general game, you basically have options. You have creative mode where you can design the vehicles and build them. You have campaign mode where you can explore the world, steal resources, fight the bad guys, and of course, build awesome things to do so. And then there's story missions which set you up with a specific story, a specific mission where you have to do things. Uh, vehicle designer is kind of fun because I actually have a bunch of prefab designs already given to me and I can introduce them. So yes, I could go about building something, but really we want to see things blowing uh, each other up. So I uh, load a vehicle here and a fine example I think would be, let me see, the Hydra. I think that's a, an aircraft that is automated so I can load that. and. Um, I can also, there it is there, it's going to take off and it's going to look for bad guys, so let's spawn some bad guys. Let's spawn a Sea Viper, oh and a balloon craft, let's spawn an Atlas and see what happens. So these guys should now be flying around and it's going to be attacking them. Oh look, there is whatever that is there. Let's, let's actually spawn some other good guys. Load a vehicle, what can I give them? The Hunter? Hunter's probably like the same kind of thing. Hunter, Hydra, Hill Hydra. Okay, and there it goes. Let's let's run after these things and see if we can watch the battle ensue. Oh, oh man, I'm splashing through the water. That's a problem. I'm skipping through the water like a, a like a skippy water thingy. That's a little better. Oh, look at this. Balloon bits are have been shot off and are flying away. I should probably stay away from those giant propellers since those are no doubt going to kill me. I'm hoping that it's not going to attack me. You know, little old me, I'm I'm defenseless. Oh look, we have some uh, dolphins kind of porpoising their way through the water to attack this thing. <laughs> they're like torpedoes. I, I think there might be somebody on this trying to fix it as well. Because I see balloons getting added again. Whoa, nice! This is... Ah yes, major explosion. The destruction of that vehicle. Nice stuff. This is actually pretty cool stuff. But yeah, you know, this is obviously for people that really want to actually build their own designs. This is a... but And, and you know, if you want to gain experience, and you have to gain experience to unlock the campaign mode, for example, you can build your vehicle here and then test it against these ships without any, any limits. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff to do here. But let's actually try a campaign level, or rather a mission, right? So, quit. Return to main menu. Okay, so single player story mission. Let's uh, let's actually try the blockade run. So the blockade run's a pretty simple one. What you do is you can 
you start out with a vehicle, they suggest the javelin, which is just this little fast boat, I guess, and you have to make it through the blockade to the target before your ship is destroyed. So let's launch this mission and see how we go. So while standing on this, you can uh, you can make it move fast, and I'm gonna start turning this right away. Oh, apparently I've gone submersible. That's not what I intended to do here. <laughs> um, this way, yeah. Oh no, now I'm scraping along the bottom in my boat. I have already been sunk, but I'm still alive. So actually, that's not a problem. Yeah, I should not have touched the hydroplane controls, but I did those by accident, thinking that the hydroplane controls were in the position of the accelerator controls for other versions. Okay, let's make sure my hydroplanes keep me vertical. Okay. Oh, I think something got broken. And I'm destroyed. Yes, okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Something is up with my boat and it is not going to last against the onslaught of these enemies. Let's actually try that again. <laughs> Restart the level. Okay, make sure I use the right controls for accelerating here, as in not the wrong controls. Okay, and I'm gonna turn, immediately I'm gonna zigzag around in the hope of avoiding any uh, attentions of these weapons. So by zigzagging, hopefully their ranging will be incorrect. Uh, turn. Oh! Darn, no. One hit, one hit, and I was destroyed. Can he fix that? Oh dear. Go on, fix it for me! Fix it! Fix it! How do we fix it? I think uh, I don't fix it. I think I just stand here and admire the view. Look at those crepuscular rays! Man, don't you ap appreciate the beauty when you're about to succumb? Oh, wait, why is that attacking? Why are they attacking each other? Did I accidentally spawn one of my own ships? Okay, one more try. I guess going to the left didn't work, so let's go to the left. Left is best. Left coast, best coast, right? Uh, let's go this way and start going faster. Oh, yes. We just don't want anything to hit the vulnerable stuff on top, do we? Yes. Okay, I'm going to try adjusting my camera at the same time. Keep turning. Oh, and I fell out again. <laughs> yeah, this is not the easiest level that it was earlier. What the heck? I was hoping for some, like, major, you know, fun here, but apparently they've made it really hard. Of course, the intention is that you design your own vehicle. There's a bomb coming in there, but it hasn't hit the important stuff hasn't hit the engine, hasn't hit my science stores. Why is this not turning? Maybe my rudders are gone? Maybe I've lost my rudders because this does not seem to want to turn. Yeah, okay. Once again, I am returning to the depths from whence I came. It really does seem to be rather luck driven because I will point out that I've done this level in testing when I was like rehearsing, as they say, and it was really easy. But now this just seems to be, you know, giving me a hard time. Oh man. Let's just keep rolling it. And yeah, I've lost. I've lost steering. Oh no, I've got steering back now because I'm in the right place. And I've lost. I've fallen out. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I recorded one that I prepared earlier. Okay, one more attempt to run the blockade. Full speed ahead, Captain. <laughs> this is mutiny, whatever. I'll whip. Oh, yes, turn to port, turn to starboard. Just turn anywhere the weapons aren't coming, which is everywhere. There's weapons everywhere, the skies are being blotted out by their shells, but onward we sailed. Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Famous quote actually by a Scotsman, despite the fact he was in the, you know, in America. Um, <laughs> you know the US Navy was founded by a Scotsman? Uh, yeah, and back then torpedoes were more like mines, incidentally. Yeah, that was a, it was in Civil War that famous quote came from, Damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead, and we shall, we shall do that. Look, the birds are, 
are coming with me. They want to see whether I get blown to pieces so they can attempt to eat my robotic flesh or something like that. I'm not sure why birds would be following me. Maybe they think it's a nice place to rest, despite the fact that all, all the munitions flying through the atmosphere. I can see the target ahead and I'm closing on it. We just need to get close enough in that I can get on board, reactivate it, and repel the attack. Oh, darn! Splashed into the ground. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just swim for it! Maybe I can get to it before my vehicle is completely destroyed. The For these scenarios, it's the heart stone you need to keep alive. If the heart stone is destroyed, then the scenario is considered a failure. But since my ship is still alive, there's a chance. There we go. Well done. The mission is complete. And I only took much longer than everyone else that does this. Okay, let's move on and, uh, I don't know, let's sow some more chaos in the vessel designer. Okay, and here we are standing on the Bismarck, which has some pretty hefty weapon systems by the looks of things. Some big guns fore and aft, but uh, let's try and find something to shoot. I'm going to actually get up to the bridge first. It is, well, it's frankly humongous. Okay, that's an engine, that's a wireless receiver. That's clearly not where I want to be. Okay, this is engineering section of the boat. Let's try running around and see if I can find the bridge. The bridge is up there, but I wonder how I get into the bridge without, you know, just jumping up there. Are there stairs? Or they, do they rely on the epic jumping capability that this uh, robotic body gives me? Uh, yeah, I don't see how I actually am supposed to get into the bridge to actually control this boat. How am I supposed to engage these enemies if I can't figure out how to get into the bridge? Hmm, that's uh, unfortunate. There is this door here, right, wait a second, and can I, do I go up there maybe? No, nope. um, jump. What is, why is there a big block of obsidian here? Oh, shoot. Okay, that's my computer in there, clearly. Come on. Is this, is this the nearest we have to an elevator shaft in the, the vehicle? Ah, there it is there, yeah. I just had no depth perception because I don't have 3D. Okay. Wait a second. Balloon deployers? We have balloon deployers? What the heck? We have air pumps and stuff to keep us afloat. All these things can get broken. Look, we have a whole bridge here. I wonder if multiplayer allows multiplayers to play multiplayer. I mean, you know what I mean. Let's get into the seat. Okay, and now of course we can switch to external camera view. Pull back and appreciate this vehicle. Look at that. And middle mouse button is supposed to fire, so let's, uh, actually, let's try making the vehicle move. I'm holding the T button, and it is actually starting to cruise through the water. That will be impressive at some point, if it can get up to speed. Let's spawn some bad guys. Uh, let's spawn some bad guys. Ships, a river home, a paddle gun. Oh, well, let's do that. Paddle gun, a river home. Yeah. How's that going to work? Look. Okay. Oh, there's right there, target. Oh, yeah, go and blow it up. No, missile's coming in. Let's try that again. Man, these don't fire very quickly, do they? And those are bullets are coming up short. The shells are coming up short. And they're bouncing through the target. Try again. Totally guesstimating where these things should hit. Oh, yes, that's... Oh, wow, we've got missiles and everything as well. This thing truly has formidable weapons. If it wasn't for that big green uh, resource marker there, the resort, those green rings are the resource marker showing me where I can mine resources on the map. Ugh. The only downside with this epic vehicle is that its weapon ranges are so long you can't appreciate the destruction up close. All you can do is sit back, fire and forget. I mean, the destruction you can appreciate up close is what happens when everything hits your ship. Look at that. Now those missiles, those are constructed from blocks as well. The game does have a whole um, weapon building system built in. Like you saw how I built an engine. Well you can do that with the weapons. You can build missiles that have certain properties. Okay, now we've finished with the destruction. We can perhaps get some more firepower. Come on, look at this. It's like a battleship. Delivering serious firepower. Oh, I could probably zoom in over there, right? I wonder how I would do that. Yeah, I can aim over there. The only thing is that my aiming is based upon... doesn't account for this. 
So I can actually move in and see where my shells are landing and hopefully do some serious damage. Uh, oh, those are bouncing off. What the heck? He's got a shield. That's not what I expected. Let's get this guy first then. How do I deal with shields, I wonder? These are guys that have some serious firepower on them. Let's take another closer look. Fortunately, the camera has to face the same way that I'm firing, because I'm firing manually. And if I'm in the wrong place, then I'm going to miss. Okay. I don't think... Th I don't have the shields. I think the Bismarck may actually fall to a sci-fi paddle boat with shields. Uh, I'm not sure how to attack such a device. Certainly I'm not going to get around it in the Bismarck, which is barely able to keep up with walking pace. Oh wait, I'm letting my camera go down, which means my bullets are going to be missing. Come on! Yeah, Bismarck is a marked failure, let's say. The Bismarck is about as good in this battle as the rapper Bismarck. He would be in a battle with a pair of ships. He would obviously win in a rap battle or a beatboxing battle, but he would not win in a naval battle with his uh, epic beats and rhymes. He would not deliver the beat down on these targets at all. So yes, this is uh, an anticlimax because you really didn't get to see epic explosions. Let's let's actually just spawn something that can do some good things. We have the Capital One Mothership. No doubt that will just completely destroy my frame rate. Let's bring up more... more. Let's just bring the Hydra and the Heli... Oh, Heli Airship. Mm, that might be a good one. Let's try that. Load Heli Airship. Resume game. Oh, there it is. It spawns it literally at this location. Okay. I wonder if it's gonna... Is it gonna have automated weapon systems? Spawn! I got destroyed. So let's spawn at Beacon 1. Which is now under the water. I said spawn at Beacon 1. Oh, there I go. I fall into this ancient r world with a... in a drop pod. A sci-fi drop pod thingy. In a ro I'm a robot and you can fly and drive sail ships if you like. Or you can... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or you can build jet-powered aircraft. Oh, wow, look at this thing shooting shrapnel everywhere in the background. I imagine this could be something pretty epic. I'm, I'm just, at this point, it's early access, and so there's a lot of development still to happen. It is on Steam Early Access, for those of you who like to support games that way. If not, uh, I have no idea when it's scheduled to be released in any uh, final form. So, you know, that's something to consider. But, uh, yeah, it's another entry into these stakes and probably worth looking at if you love building things out of blocks and you think that Space Engineers or any of the other games is missing things that you want, such as paddle boats and zeppelins. Oh, there, a paddle boat getting blown up from underneath. Thank you, the helicarrier is finally coming to save the Bismarck. <laughs> Yeah, also, you probably need a pretty epic CPU to manage that make this thing work, because I'm running at about 10 frames per second. Of course, I've spawned this helicarrier. I should probably try and get on it, just to appreciate, just to take command of my fleet, right? Even though my fleet seems to be doing quite well in it by itself. Let's, uh, let's zip around between these guys. Oh, look, it's bringing its nose down. I, I'm wondering if that's because it's been damaged, or if it's because it's simply aiming at these targets, which are has clearly decided are going to die. There, you see the paddle working there? So I, I, they, they model the physics for a lot of different uh, things, which is why you can have paddles and stuff working in it. They have propellers, obviously, which work in the air, and the same propeller hardware will work as a control mechanism. Uh-oh. I have jumped onto the enemy ship, and it is starting to keel over because the helicarrier has crashed into it. Ah, but now I'm successfully on board. Okay, everyone, now I'm here, the battle can really begin. Gonna have to start fixing things, of course, there's bits broken everywhere. I wonder if I can fix that propeller like Iron Man did. Probably a bad idea. <laughs> he had, he had a uh, Captain America helping him, right? Oh, yes, not good. Well, yes, things are really starting to go straight down, and I'm pretty sure that that propeller is supposed to be actually attached to the hull, right? 
Yeah, this is uh, not... Th the physics of this are, are dubious, but they're fun nevertheless. Okay, so the game is From the Depths. It's by Brilliant Skies, it's on Steam, and uh, yeah, you should check it out. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.